Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a new fragrance or a new release from Parfums Vintage. And this one is called Emperor Extrait. Because the similarities in terms of smell are pretty close that I don't want to make a separate video for each. So I'm going to try to knock these both out in this video. Although out of the two, Extrait is my favorite. So this is kind of why I'm having this one as the star of the show. Uh, because I do prefer this one. But in all reality, both are very solid. I'm also going to throw up some coupon codes on the screen for you guys to check out for both samples and bottles of Emperor and Emperor Extrait. So if you're kind of looking into wanting to sample these or buy these, uh, these coupon codes will be available for a limited time. Again, all of that will be up on the screen. Uh, so if you're you know wanting to try it from them, now's the time to do it because these will be expiring in a month or two. So after you watch this review, if you are interested, be sure to take advantage of those coupon codes and go pick up some samples or a bottle. And before we start the review, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss my post. Now let's go and jump into this. So starting off with Emperor Extrait, what I get in the opening is a blast of pineapple and bergamot. And one thing you'll notice right away is this smells pretty much straight up like a Ventus. Um, one of the things with Parfums Vintage is a lot of their different variations of fragrances touch on different batches of Ventus. So for example, Vanilla Intense, this one covers vanilla specific batches of Aventus, um, Aventus with more prominent vanilla notes in it. Um, for example, Pineapple Vintage Intense. This one kind of goes in its own direction. It takes advantage of the pineapple note even more so. And then you also have King, you have King Intense. All of these are covering specific different batches of Aventus. But what you get with Emperor Extrait and Emperor Eau de Parfum is going back to some of the older days of Aventus, like 2015, 2016, um, we're going back to some batches that are way more balanced and overall just have a lot more depth and they hold up a lot better uh, comparing to the 2017 and 2018, which is really not a fair comparison when you're comparing 2015, 2016 to you know 2017 and 2018. The differences are quite a bit and what their goal with Emperor Extrait here was to go back to the older stuff um, and to get that old type of Aventus back. The stuff that we really like and not you know the newer Aventus which is getting quote unquote watered down over time. Uh, you can tell and if you have experience with Aventus, again I'm not talking about the new stuff here. If you're comparing this to the new stuff there's going to be an obvious difference. I'm talking about those of you who have experience with the older stuff, again, like I said, 2015, 2016, then you will know, you know where this is coming from and um, how good of a job they did when it comes to um, representing those older batches. So again, in the opening, that pineapple, that bergamot is present pretty much right away like Aventus is. As it starts to dry down, some of the musk and birch starts to come in gives it a little bit of a woody, musky overall scent. Again, we all know that musky birch smell of Aventus. I also start to get a little bit of patchouli as well. Not a whole lot, but when I stick my nose up to it, I can really pick up on some of the patchouli. Gives it a nice green, earthy smell, and I really enjoy that. And for me overall, Emperor Extrait and Emperor Eau de Parfum is very balanced, okay? So like I just spoke about earlier, Vanilla Intense takes vanilla and amps it up. Um, King Intense takes some of the woods, amps it up. With this one here though, there aren't really any notes that are brought to the forefront. Basically, it has taken all of the great aspects of Aventus and combined it into one. So it's overall very, very balanced. And that's why I'm pretty much calling it straight up just Aventus because, because that's just really how it smells. It's so balanced and it just smells like how Aventus used to be um, comparing it to again, 2017 and 2018. There's just a huge difference there. And one thing I wanna bring up really quickly is the pricing structure because people like to bash on Parfums Vintage for this all the time. I just wanna to try to clear the air a little bit, try to cover this as best as I can quickly. For a 100 ml bottle of Emperor Extrait, which is this bottle size right here, it's $160 with that code that I threw up on the screen earlier. And again, we're talking about an actual Extrait concentration, not an EDP versus Aventus. So actual Aventus costing $225 for 100 ml and it's a 2017 or 2018 batch. So again, this does cost less, but it's also superior to the new batches of Aventus that you would be getting, you know, Creed's website if you did that, from Creed Boutique, or in a lot of the Facebook groups, a lot of the 2018 batches rolling out um, off discounters and things like that, which you would be paying more off discounters than 225. Uh, but the going typical rate for a new bottle, a 2018 bottle of Aventus, will be about 225, 220, somewhere in that case. And again, with Emperor Extrait, you're getting a more concentrated version of that scent 
at a cheaper price and the fact that it's far superior to the newer batches of Aventus. You have people calling it synthetic, you have people hating on the price. That's just something that gets tossed around all the time. Touched on this before in other reviews on these fragrances, uh, but they actually use naturals to create these. Um, this has been proven by the perfumer himself, Damien. Um, he's provided evidence multiple times. Um, I'll put up some pictures on the screen of some of the naturals that he uses and that he buys for these scents. So again, that's a big reason why these do cost more than the $40, $20, $30 clones out there. These are using natural ingredients. These are higher quality in both scent, presentation, things like that. And what it always comes back down to, what I've said before, you get what you pay for and the cheaper $20, $30 clones, you're getting cheap oils, you're getting stuff that is scratchy, that is actually synthetic, actually created with synthetic materials, things like that. So what you're getting here, is an overall better quality product and you're gonna have to pay for that. That's something that people don't wanna to come to terms with, but that's what it comes down to. And when it comes down to Emperor Extrait and Emperor Eau de Parfum, you're getting a better quality product, not only over those cheaper clones, but also over the new Aventus batches. Again, that's one of those things where, you know, the clones are becoming better than actual Aventus because as time goes on, 2018 batches of Aventus getting more and more watered down, weaker, um, whereas um, Emperor Extrait here, it's doing a lot better job at recreating the older stuff. And if you go on to the Facebook groups, you'll actually see a lot of people echoing that same thought um, that Emperor Extrait is tons better than um, new batches of Aventus. So that's just something I wanted to throw out there. So again, not everyone is going to understand what exactly Parfums Vintage is doing here, but for the people who actually enjoy Aventus and they enjoy how Aventus used to be and have experience with that, they're gonna understand what Emperor Extrait and Emperor Eau de Parfum does. But again, for the people who are either haters or they're maybe newer or whatever the case may be, they're just gonna hate on it just to hate on it without seeing the true purpose of why this was released. I also wanna quickly note the color of this as well. I don't know if it's been showing on the camera, but it's pretty dark stuff. Here's Pineapple Vintage Intense right here. Um, you can see how Emperor Extrait, quite a bit darker, has a green tint. And one thing that I wanna show you is my bottle of Aventus. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be picked up as well, um, but this is a 2016 bottle of Aventus and it has that infamous green tint as well. Not as much as Emperor Extrait. Um, it's kind of hard to see here. This Aventus does have that greenish tint to it and this does as well. Here's another 2016 bottle, um, different batch, but still a 2016. And again, if you get it in the light just right, it does have that tint to it. Not as prominent as Emperor Extrait, uh, but it is still there. Now for comparing it to a 2017 batch, you can see that it's pretty much clear. There really isn't any tint to it at all. And again, going back to a 2016 here, might be kind of hard, but as you can see, this is pretty much clear. This has the tint to it. And the reason why I'm showing you this is again, I'm just trying to go back to the fact that um, what they're targeting here with Emperor Extrait is the older batches and that color is going to speak for itself um, because of the ingredients that they're using, the notes that they're using, it really just goes to show uh, what this is doing. And again, it's the same thing with the Eau de Parfum. They're really about the same color. Yeah, they are pretty much exactly the same color. Again, really the only difference between these is the concentration. So again, Eau de Parfum and Extrait. And to be completely honest, to my nose, comparing them side by side, it's really hard for me to tell a difference. I find maybe the Extrait has a little bit more of a woodiness to it. That could just be trying, be trying to splitting hairs and picking out subtle differences when there may not be any. So it really just comes down to, do you want an Extrait or do you want an Eau de Parfum? So let's go ahead and jump into performance and talk about that. But before I talk about performance, I just wanna hop in here and say, if you haven't checked out my decanting course yet, go ahead and do that now. If you head on over to chaosfragrances.com, you can check it out there or click the first link in the description. As you guys already know, decanting is a great way to build up your collection without having to pay out of pocket. So you're essentially using the fragrances that you already own in order to buy more fragrances. So once you start the process, you'll be able to keep it going. Um, you know, wash, rinse, repeat. Just keep the process going. You'll be able to build up an amazing collection in a matter of months. Again, I have people asking me all the time how to get started because they don't wanna mess up. Um, when you're taking someone's money and in turn giving them a product, you know there is a lot of stress on your end, especially when you're first starting out because you don't wanna mess up, right? You don't wanna take someone's money, have something mess up somewhere along the line and then be responsible for it. So I cover everything you need to know in the course from how to actually set your prices so you're not losing money, 
how to decant, how to ship, how to sell on eBay, Facebook, all of that, everything is covered. And again, I'll also throw up a screenshot of my first three months of actually doing this uh, so you can kind of see the results I had pretty much right away. Again, that's exactly what I teach in the course. So go check that out, chaosfragrances.com or click the link down below. Now let's hop into performance. Emperor Straight, this stuff in terms of longevity, very, very strong. This is one of those ones that lasts on my skin to the next day and when I wake up in the morning, I can smell it off my skin faintly. When I get in the shower, I can smell it even more because the heat or whatever is you know, waking it back up. So it's definitely very long lasting, 12 plus hours longevity. It's to be expected because it is an extrait. So there's no complaints there. It projects very good as well, although not quite as good as the Eau de Parfum in my experience. And that's typically what happens. Really high concentrations like an extrait won't project as good as like an Eau de Parfum or an Eau de Toilette. Um, so that's kind of the case there. Again, it's not too noticeable. Um, this stuff still projects plenty good, like enough for me, but that is something to keep in mind. So talking about Emperor Eau de Parfum, longevity wise, I'm getting about nine to 10 hours on my skin. Um, again, it kind of tapers off down towards the end. Projection though is a little bit better than the extrait. Again, it's not by much because the extrait is still very, very strong, uh, but this one does push off my skin a little bit more. I can kind of feel it. I can feel it leaving a better scent trail. Uh, so it does do a little bit better there. With that being said though, both of these definitely have the potential to fill up a room. So you really don't need to overspray either of these. They're both extremely strong, um, both really good in performance. Of course, versatility, you guys already know when these can be worn. Um, Aventus DNA, pretty much for anything. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. Compliments, these are gonna be compliment monsters. Uh, Pineapple Vintage Intense is one of my best compliment getters so far from all the Parfums Vintage fragrances that I have. Um, but these Emperors, they're coming up there. They're very strong and they have that nice balanced Aventus DNA, which always goes over very well. So you can't go wrong with compliments on either of those. Uh, they're gonna do great. Overall guys, that is my review on Parfums Vintage Emperor Straight and Emperor. Um, again, make sure if you're interested in picking either of these up, either samples or bottles, check out those coupon codes I listed earlier. Um, they're only going to be available for a limited time, so now's the time to do it. And that's going to do it for this review, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.